I keep telling people that in episode two, there's like the dopest song, and I'm not being dramatic, it's pretty iconic, and everybody knows it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that, and definitely longer music, I think, throughout the, throughout the season. Is there anything about the first season, like fan reactions, or things they latched on to, or liked, or didn't like, that's a nice to you? Um, I think, like, I mean, I, we thought people would, would, would be into Jughead and Betty, and that certainly were, but the Bughead... The, the intensity of the Bughead fandom was uh, was a lovely surprise. I mean, I work on a lot of shows, so I do. Know, I mean, there's the loyalicity, and there, you know, so we have plenty of within the Berlanti verse. We have a lot of these, but that was that was really fun, and I think just that how much people appreciated the diversity, uh, not just racial, but like character-wise of the women on the show. And I think the fact that there were so many strong women that have different points of views, different ways to approach being a girl in 2017 uh, was really, that was exciting. But also it's just really fun watching the show live on Twitter. I mean, with Twitter going and everyone's memes and like, that's, that's always a lot of fun. So, um, Cole actually touched on the fan reactions on Twitter a little bit. What can you tell us about how fan reactions affect um, your decisions when writing the story? Do they have any impact, or is it really just like, uh, we hear you, but we're going to do our own thing? I think ultimately we have to do our own thing, because the thing that can sometimes happen, and I'm speaking also of like Supergirl and, and Fly, all these is like, you know, people want, they love it. They, look, we're so lucky that they love the characters. We're so lucky that they connect to them and to these relationships. But if there was, like, no problems, the show would actually be really boring. Like, you just want people to be in love and be happy, but then it's like, it's, that's like, they're just, what are we watching them eat lunch? Like, I, you know, it's, it's um, so I, as much as they, you know, you want to honor how much these the audience is invested in these characters, they also, you, you want the characters to continue to, grow and for them to grow they have to make mistakes they have to have setbacks they need to have problems that they overcome it's how we all grow as people and so but certainly I think like even in some of the stage direction in season two there was like and for another iconic bughead moment so we'll, we'll enjoy it and have some fun with it as well but I think um we can't let that dictate it because we have to just we hope the audience trusts us that we're that we love these characters as much as they do and we're going to take care of them but we need we need, we need a little drama I know I'm not in an interview but I'm curious do you ever like read an ending and are like that would be a really good idea like do you ever like like when fans are like speculating what oh, happened, oh, you, you ever, know like, well one, one thing that the fans did affect actually in season one was um was Clifford Blossom's wig <laughs> like because it didn't look good and all props to our hair and hair, but it did not look good and so we were concerned about because what happened well his hair was dyed in the pilot but then he had a bad reaction to the hair dye so he couldn't keep dyeing it so then we had to do the wig and then we like instead it was actually a great lesson for me it was we like leaned into it so that's where like the line Hermione's saying you're a wig like how, uh, you know, Slipper Blossom, that wig wearing monster. So then we were like, actually, it's more interesting if he wears a wig. Like, that's sort of strange and Lynchian. I loved when he got really busted cool. in his wig room. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that, in that way, we definitely listen to the fans, and because we're fans too, so we watch it in that same way. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we all, and then what's great is like everybody has their favorite characters, so you have plenty of voices fighting for everyone as the show is developed. Can you expect to see Sabrina show up? No comment. I don't, and the, the honest to God answer is don't know yet. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was that my yeah. Were they just giving me these letters? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 